Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Play OpenXCOM. So in the last episode, it was a rather busy episode. I mean, it just happened overnight and the UFO activity just picked up very much and then everything was just a buzz with the um, interceptors just flying around and uh, made the crucial mistake of not sending the interceptor um, away from the battle. I was not able to damage the large UFO we fought. So I lost another uh, $600,000 worth of equipment. I have another one on order. I suffered a serious setback there. But then it was kind of mitigated by the fact that I was able to destroy a few UFOs and um, do some um, recovery missions and also fought a landed UFO, which got me another uh, huge supply of Valerium and alien alloy at the cost of probably half of my crew. So um, yeah, I mean, it was like kind of um, that kind of episode where nothing really, I really didn't um, advance, I guess. Um, but I did get 13 mutant corpses, so I guess I can probably sell almost all of them, except for one. Um, yeah. And some alien equipment as well. I think I sold some of them before, or maybe not. Yeah, I have 32 plasma now. Heavy plasma, that is. Which is a lot. Um, and just selling them is going to let me 1.4 million. So I guess kind of get the idea that if you there's like a little balancing act going on, even though you lose a lot of men, if you um, at least do the missions, complete the missions, then you get all this stuff that you can sell later down the road and also uh, get materials and resources that's going to help you recover some of the setbacks you're going to surely get as the country slowly leave. And I don't think I can actually prevent the countries from leaving and suspect one of the countries or even more will leave at the end of the month. I'm suspecting Canada is going to leave because I really couldn't control the UF activity over that nation. And also maybe Russia is going to leave because I couldn't really do the terror mission at night filled with snake men and chrysalids. Now that mission could have been a squad wipe once again. Um, yeah, I'm sure. I'm pretty sure. All right, so let's sell another 1.4 million dollars worth of equipment, um, and then maybe I can now order some. I, mean, I can probably build uh, something like. I guess I can try to build. Let me see. Just yeah, alien containment. I think I can just build it and forget it. It's the kind of um, facility. Yeah, it doesn't really cost that much, and then it. Yeah, it has 10 space available. Uh, from what I can tell, it just looks like another like, jail cell. Um, I thought it's going to be more like, um, what do you call it? The Enemy Unknown, the 2011 Enemy Unknown, where they have all this technology basically sealed and with all these different uh, scanners and stuff moving around. But in this game, it's just uh, jail cells and then a like, small desk where they're interrogated. You know, it's just... Feels rather um, different, rather rudimentary, I guess. You can also remove the selected if he's getting full. Uh, you have to um, interview a Reaper terrorist, a big dude, big alien uh, biped that appears with the floater in terror missions. There's a mutant engineer and soldier. I guess I can uh, also interview, I can interview engineer. I don't know about the soldiers though. Maybe he's going to give me um, more alien origins I don't know what that is exactly, but yeah, I think it's going to add to that, but it's not really my priority right now. And the research is going average. Yeah, it's a big research. Plasma cannon is going to perhaps be upgrade the interceptor strength so that they'll be able to go toe to toe with the large UFO without me um, forgetting how to disengage and then letting them crash and burn. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I just made a really stupid mistake and had like a lot of chance to make it retreat but unfortunately I couldn't do it um, yeah so this is large radar system and there's a hyperwave decoder on order it's going to build in three days hopefully I get to actually see what it does this episode and I have a tank laser cannon or laser tank uh, manufactured so it's going to be ready in 16 hours it's pretty quick very large, so I'm not gonna. Uh, just going to see what's going to happen here. I think they're gonna invade Canada. Yeah. Oh no, actually went away. Maybe to Russia. It looks like it. 
So um, in three days, the hyperwave decoder is going to be ready. And um, there's also a couple of soldiers here, or well, not a couple, like 10 soldiers here, and I classify them all. And uh, they're going to be protecting this base for some time. And they do have the razor cannons and plasma rifles, I think. Let me see. Yeah, they have heavy weapons and some laser rifles and also some plasma rifle with clip. So I think they're kind of ready to defend, given that the base layout is a bit more defensible than this one. The laser tank is going to be ready and I'm going to be producing some more power suits because I have more lyrium to work with. And my store is possibly uh, now full. So let's see if I can manufacture some power suits. Yeah, so um, I think I produced around 5 this time. It costs a lot of money. Gonna take four days, four hours. Also waiting for the soldiers to arrive from the from somewhere. So I ordered purchased a service of around nine soldiers. In two days they arrive and we have to hold the fort until then. And we only have how many? Uh, we only have like ten. Or eleven. And one is wounded. Oh, Bella is wounded, my goodness. She's now a commander with only 10 people. Plasma cannon, great. So what does it do? Okay, so it has a pretty small range, but it can damage the UFO a whole lot, or whatever we are going to intercept a whole lot. Accuracy 50%. Reload time is 24 seconds. Okay, so it's a bit of a one-shot deal. Round is 100. Finally channeled imploding gravity field. Wow, cool. Now can research plasma defense. This must be a defensive facility that can build in bases. Alright, instead of plasma defense, let's try to research UFO construction. Yeah, I think I was trying to research this for some time and I think this is going to give us a bit better ability to intercept, perhaps. Or that we can make UFO, actually. That'd be pretty cool. We cannot produce plasma beam. Okay. Which is, I think, similar to... Laser cannon. Goes on to the interceptor. To get interceptors, I need to purchase some missiles. I have source space. Okay, so that's a problem. I think I might have to transfer some of the Illyrium to the other base. Um, yeah. So Lotus, let me try to transfer some components. So I have alien alloys. Transfer on 100. And Illyrium, I'm gonna transfer around 80. Yeah, I don't know what alien surgery does. Maybe it's in UFOpedia. Anything else it can transfer? Arsut? No. Although it might be useful, but then... Yeah, I think I need all the parsuits here. For now. Waiting for the hyperwave decoder to be completed and the soldiers to arrive. Only three guys left on Sky Ranger, one of them wounded. Um, actually, I don't think they're wounded anymore. Okay. Alright, yeah. This is not good. I lost all of them, all the power suit and everything. Very small, let's intercept it. Um, it is very small, so it could be... Sorry, it could be just... Um, okay, I think we'll be able to catch up to it. Yeah. Standard attack, and I think we'll be able to destroy it in one missile. Yeah, it's just destroyed. 
Okay, so it's a bit of a score, I guess, for the XCOM as the end of the month rolls around. It might provoke the aliens to do another retaliatory attempt at our base. Okay, yeah, transferred. And small one, sure, let's get this thing ready. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's everywhere, the aliens everywhere. Intercept this guy. Yeah, I'm wishing that it just, you know, gets destroyed, but... Yeah, well, another attempt... Another, um... I guess I need to put everybody here. I don't know how long it's gonna take before these guys are arrive. 24 hours. Yeah, I'm not so sure about this. Um, alright, wait until the rookies arrive. Yeah. Oh, finally, Hyperate Decoder is complete. That's great news. Okay, um, so it means that maybe I don't have any need for the large radar system. Uh, but I don't think I can dismantle this because, yeah, it's linked, unfortunately. Um, I guess I dismantle it later. Doesn't really matter, actually, right now. Soldiers are here. They have how many storage? I think I need to build another storage here. Um, I think in this space, I'm going to also try to build hyperweb decoder. Yeah, but I have to probably wait until these are built first. And United States doesn't really matter in terms of their funding level because they already signed a pact with aliens, so just going to wait. I don't really um, think that their reaction is going to really matter. So it's been around day, right? I'm just waiting for the rookies to arrive. Yeah, so these guys, I think we can at least use them. Okay, so time unit, this guy seems to be a pretty good scout. Another scout. Aisha. Well, um, I guess I gave her sniping duty. Jahiriev. Um, I guess heavy? Why not? Pfizer. Andre. Andre? Pfizer? Yeah, another heavy. Okay. And just whip crap here. Gotta get all these guys ready. I don't know about these guys. Um salt scout. I think small traps, I think these guys can do it. Get these guys up, and then I'm gonna give some of them some armor protection. Alright. Check the armor. Yeah, so five power suit is available, thankfully. I'm gonna give all these guys par suit and I'm gonna give some heaviest par suit. Um no not you. I'm gonna just stay behind and shoot. Okay, check the equipment here. Um Yeah, 10 plasma. Yeah, everything is intact. Smoke grenade, 12, sure. Yeah, it seems that they replenish from the stores, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so if I get 12 here, and then uh, I spend a lot, then it knows to replenish. And I didn't realize back then, but then when the battle is over, and they think that I cannot replenish to this level that I initially set, they tell me that I need to buy something so that it can replenish to the level that 
I want it to be filled up. Um, yeah, so it's pretty helpful. Quality of life thing. Okay, so let's try to intercept this small, uh, small grounded UFO. I'm sure that it is already crawling with aliens. Uh, not interceptor, but uh, Sky Ranger, and add our scores a bit. It's going to be day mission, and I'm not bringing my HWP because I don't think I really need to. Um, you know, five hundred thousand. Okay, so yeah, it seems like they're all well equipped. I guess I could give some of these guys at least the. Um, the guys who's going to get out a couple of smoke grenades and I think that's going to be it. Everybody's armed with some good weapons. For Bella Pinho. Okay, so she's like a commander. I think she can make use of this. Yeah, I think that's going to be a bit better. So we have rocket launcher and heavy cannon. Um, we have Florbella, who uses the heavy plasma, sniping with plasma, assault, or plasma, scout. Yeah, they all have plasma, even the rookies. I think it's going to be worthwhile. And this is all the cannon. Okay, I have no problem with that. Oh, yeah, it's a... Uh, yeah, once again. Nice. I did exciting here. Farmland, United States. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I seen some uh, muton. Okay, guy, let's get on and then track some mutants. I think I saw one around here, but uh, probably need to wait a bit more, I guess. Oh, there he is. Okay, so does anybody have some uh, heavy weapons? Could blow a hole here. Well, didn't really do anything. I think you need to come back. Oh, there is that aircraft or spacecraft. Moving around, opening the doors. Moves pretty quickly. I found somebody. Oh, there, okay. Uh, I think I can probably take care of him. 37, 30. Okay, I think she's enveloped in smoke. Let's crouch first and then have a attempt at this guy. Destroying the trees and well, just stunned. Prime grenade and throw it over there. Uh, it did trigger something. Oh my god, he's dead. Well. This guy is not hurt, thankfully. Please kill him. Okay, good. Yeah, so too bad that guy... You know, I threw the thing because I thought that... Oh my, there's another guy, okay. I threw the proximity grenade, I hope that he stopped the guy, but he didn't. He just came all the way around and proceeded to destroy my guy, unfortunately. Oh gosh. Yeah, it doesn't work that way. Although I guess it did hurt a bit. They might as well just get over here. Oh, found another guy? Where? Oh, he's there crawling around. Okay. Uh, looks like it's a job for this guy to... I don't know whether he's going to get reaction shot. Far better than what I anticipated. Um... Can you move? Can you move? Can I even crouch? 
Looks like I need to finish this guy once and for all. Uh, that thing is blocking the way. Now I can see him. Don't hit our guy. Dead. And this guy is stunned. Need to watch out. This guy will just come back and be safe for a while. And any of these guys, uh, yeah, they can move a bit and want to crouch. Can you go over there? No. I guess you can move here and then wait for the enemy to appear. It's pretty close though. Oh my gosh. That been pretty dangerous. Well, it was pretty dangerous, but I didn't die. Pretty lucky there. Um, can this actually take care of the alien? I don't think so. Which, pretty accurate shot. I think I need to save this guy <laughs> from certain death. Kirill Jahariev has been pretty accurate so far. Very nice. Okay, so let's have a shot using the rookie here. Just turn some covers and rocks and... I think the... Oops, I made a mistake. Made a mistake, sorry. Yeah, now probably dead. That's good. So killed around four now. I think it's around the number of aliens in this kind of crap, right? But there's still more. There's still more, folks. Uh, I think it's time for me to smoke this other area and then try to um, move. Yeah, I think I can. Oh. Alright, let's spread out a bit and then uh, have a look at the rest of the map. Looks like uh, it's pretty... Uh, I think I can kind of take up shop here. Away from it all. I don't want to be too close. Uh, the power suit, I cannot really... I don't really have any... Yeah, I don't really think that power suit is going to save me. I'm very suspicious about the power suit. Alright, the aliens I keep missing, which is uh, really nice. Alright, rookie, do something about this. Wow, that's a pretty good shot. Yeah, cool. Yeah, this guy is really lucky. He was crushed. That's probably why he was able to survive. Um, right up onto the and maybe ambush the guy? I'm not so sure. There's like one alien that did come around. Um, just using three guys. Uh, I hear a door. Yeah, hear a door. Looks like I need to... Not Florella, but... Okay, the sniper could stay behind and have a look. I just don't know whether... Um, I mean, the map kind of stretches to this point and there might be some building here or maybe here can't really tell for sure you're looking at the cabbage patch here maybe pretty careful uh, I don't want to lose more guys than necessary um Yeah, not too sure what I can do here. Um, so it's moving around in the building. I hear the doors. Um, okay. Alright, so what can I do here? So these guys will just tail the scout. Or, oh, she's a sniper, that's why she was able to... Yeah, that's why she had a pretty good... Pretty good shooting. It doesn't lie, the game doesn't lie with its numbers. Very effective accuracy shown by this... Uh, soldier, and then I didn't really give her... The armor as well, because I thought that she would just stay behind and then follow the lead. Of the other guys, and um, 
trying to use the trees a bit. Yeah, he's a pretty high ranking guy. And Yes, I can go inside. We use this tree. I'm not so sure. Oh, I guess I'll be um, found out. All right. Yes, I can. No, I think it's too late. I see a lot of guys. Oh, there is that building. Yeah, so. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of trees here, so maybe I can throw a grenade and then, uh... Let's have a look. Let's throw a grenade around here and then advance through the trees. Probably, yeah, I can activate it right now, but I think she may be able to move here. Barely. Set up. Prime it and throw it. Nice throw. Yeah, that's pretty good throw. Now we got the alien's attention. Scott just thought himself. See what happens. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, don't get hit. Okay, that's good. Yeah. Uh, I see this guy, but only as a silhouette, but it's still can kind of shoot. Alright, does it hit me? But I do have a clear shot to this guy, but yeah, I can't make it work, unfortunately. So, uh, apparently, I think he's upstairs. I need to get out, perhaps. Maybe I'm still targeted. Um, can she do something about this? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Nah, uh, okay. So second floor, I'm kind of worried that it's going to target the... Target my guy. My scout. Okay. Alright. It's in the way, I need to get up and then shoot. I guess I can make it work here. No, no line of fire, unfortunately. Uh, if I go over here, then yeah, I'd be exposed. So may as well just get crouched. And then this guy might get it, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Gosh darn it, this sucks. Yeah, it was my mistake. I. Uh, yeah, it sucks. It really is bad. Soft him up a bit. Oh no. Okay. I guess he's lucky. So he's in the building. And uh, unfortunately, this guy misses with every one of his shots. Oh, that's crappy. There for kneeling. Alright. Shoot fairly. Hopefully, you're going to punch some holes. Sniper this sniper thing. Good job. Yeah, that was it. Got two guys killed, unfortunately, but it was okay. Got more Illyrium and uh, alien artifact. And kill six. And Aisha. Oh, okay. So she was able to get promotion and. Paul Dujardin unfortunately died because of my stupid mistake. He was a scout though, so didn't really do much in terms of shooting. Now I need to hire more guys. I think I need to hire like four because I lost two and I don't know the state of the transfer right now. 
Yeah, but the turnover is just just hideous. Like this is probably even worse. I think I lost more men than United States during Gulf War or something in a span of like three months. I don't know. It just doesn't. Like, it's not my playing style. You know, my playing style is just trying to preserve the soldiers. But I think I went over this. This is not an RPG. Not an RPG. And the fact that Enemy Unknown, the new, that's not new, but it's a Fraxis Enemy Unknown is a um, lot more RPG like. It kind of confuses me that I really shouldn't lose or bleed these kind of troops. But I guess it is something part and parcel of playing this game, especially when you're playing Iron Man. Um, and then it was not too bad actually, the last battle. Uh, so hyperwave decoder is active, so we might be able to glean more information out of the guys. And um, yeah, it's not even close to completing. And more guys arrived. All right, so let's go to base and then welcome these guys, unfortunate, unfortunate souls. How Toya? All right. So this guy has a lot of bravery and has all the markings of an assault guy. But since he has a really low strength, I need to give him a sniper roll. Um, well, I mean, now he can just use the heavy plasma, which seems to be rather light. And it can be considered a salt guy instead of being sniper. Um, firing accuracy, and this guy is pretty decent overall. I think I can give him another assault roll. Yeah, some assault uh, coming in. Saburo of Pujibara. Ong Jian. Okay, so I guess we got all these guys from Asian region. Another very accurate and pretty good across the board character. I'm gonna give him assault. He's definitely going to wield a um, heavy plasma. And Levi, Levi, Lati, Levi Lati. Okay, all right. So this guy is not that great. So yes, out. Ines Peters. Uh, yeah, another scout. Looks like the heavy and assault roll is slowly fusing or heavy and sniper roll or assault and sniper roll is kind of merging each other and also the heavy because the heavy plasma is not that heavy anymore all right so how many um i think i lost one yeah so i'm building more power switch yes that's good interceptors arrived okay let's go and arm it with the avalanche did i purchase avalanche missiles i don't think i did Yeah, I don't think I did. Axis 3. Yeah, so I need to arm it with laser perhaps and avalanche, which I didn't purchase. Crap. What is this? Interceptor 4? Okay, so remember not to send this guy out, you know, when the UFO appears. So I need to purchase. Avalanche and more of these missiles. Nice. Okay. Fine. At, at Lotus, Egypt. You're still two weeks away from building complete a facility. In terms of money. We can probably sell more and then get some more money. Yeah, so I mean money, cash flow wise is not too bad. Yeah, we got even more plasma so we can probably sell five more. And... Oh wow, we got a lot of plasma clip too. But yeah, there's just a lot of um, a lot of things coming in. And even though it has not arrived yet, it can just pre-sell this and we already have a uh, yeah, surplus of alien alloys and aerium and we have some very uh, prized components very nice probably sell five or six yeah another one million okay and at the end of the month, 
we're gonna see the damage that the aliens did and whether we are going to be pushed out of uh, different countries altogether. All right, so research is going... Yeah, I mean, it's going to be a pretty big thing, I think, that research. Uh, the scientists are researching right now, so they don't really have an estimate. Even now, after I have given them the project a few days ago. Okay, so hopefully no terror missions. Or maybe if there's a UFO or some kind of a anomaly, then we can use the decoder to decode what they contain. It can be... Yeah, okay. So this is decoded information. Uh, hyperwave decoded information, and this is really helpful. We have a 50. Very large and high. And it's battleship and uh, mission is alien based. So, very large, so our interceptor has no chance. Uh, but then, hyperwave decoder is able to track down every one of these things. Yeah, and then it's going somewhere, but uh, yeah, the base landed there. Maybe you should try to intercept it, I'm not so sure. Uh, we have enough men, definitely, uh, to go up against these guys, but then, um, yeah. I mean, are you waiting for something, or can we go there and actually intercept and get more materials and money? It's mutants, so I think we can take care of mutants. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, slowly coming around to taking the very large battleship. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's going to be just huge undertaking, but I mean, I guess I can probably do it. There's really nothing that's stopping us to go to Cuba. Maybe Cuba is a separate country. Consider a separate zone and then uh, maybe able to give us uh, a bit of a bit more. Oh, okay, when you have two? Wow. Right. Okay. Uh... These two assault guys. And let me see. Andre. Okay. Maybe I should change that to somebody else. Lit Kassab and now I think she's going to still join us. So, how many soldiers are still on the way? Let me just check after I uh, put her out of the our suit. Saburo, I think you can rest. I don't know who the best guy was. I guess they can probably all join, but uh, I think at least some of these guys do not need the uh, armor, the heavy armor. Like Sniper, for example, I guess they can just stay behind. Yeah, I think this guy needs parts more than anything. Equipment, I guess I bring more plasma. And uh, yeah, bring more. Oh, I have more launchers now. Yeah, very nice. Uh, laser tank cannon. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna bring bring it. Laser pistol, rifle, grenade. Okay, proximity grenade. A plasma. I guess I bring more. Stun bomb, mine probe. Laser rifle, laser pistol. Okay. It's intercept. Yeah, that's uh, it's a very large ship, but I have a experience of going up against a very large ship, so. 
Let's go and have a look. And then maybe it's going to... Um... Okay. Oh man, I should have waited. Oh, anyways. Now that we have some money, I think we can just keep producing parsuit. Or should I go for something else? Like plasma beam, for example. Wow, okay, it requires 15, huh? 500 engineer hours to produce one unit. I guess just make one then. How many days does it take? 10 hours? Oh, it's not too bad. Okay, make one and then I'm gonna install it, the interceptor. Alright, well, let's have a look. Yeah, you can see the alien um, scout over there. It's intact scout and might have. Um, I might, maybe I should have brought the uh, arc door. But we're going to do the same thing, um, just be very careful with our positioning and advances. Hey, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. And uh, I guess we can have a. Extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Where could this thing be? Okay, so that is the border. I guess we have only but only one way to head out. Yeah, and then she can yeah, move a lot more and then there is this grapple thing that allows her to count just one move, okay. So yeah, it's not going to work good for her because although she's a high ground sniper, she does not have the move and shoot ability. She has squad sight instead. Oh, yeah, not going to be that useful because that grapple counts as one move. I guess it's understandable counting as one move. Yeah, I just do Overwatch. Just start out. Um. Get the laser pistol too. Okay. Mutons. Hear a lot of mutons moving around. I don't hear them close enough yet so that I don't really know where they are, but definitely hear them somewhere. It's a good spot for squad site, perhaps. Good spot to make use of our high ground ability. And she went there because of the movement bonus, I guess. And then Overwatch. Yes, this. Wow, she's really low HP. Gotta be very careful. Now, let's try to move a bit more. Going to be overwatching. And the frontline guys will provide some squad site. Angela is not that great in terms of marksmanship right now. But if she improves, she's going to be a different brand of sniper. Okay, yeah, so the Berserker and Mutant, the trio here that we also love. They're moving into... Okay, somebody got hit. Good. Okay, okay, what is happening here? Laser show is going on. I thought that got friendly fired over there. Of course, he's still alive because he missed. Okay, 
Are you shooting or what? Okay. For two. He's going to make Berserker Berserk. Alright. Okay. So, Zang, the Rocketeer. Just do not take anything to chance. Destroy the thing. Good job. Good job, good job. But they show this every time. Somebody's gonna get... Oops. Somebody's gonna get angry. Okay. 56, 51, alright, not that great. How about laser pistol? 72, 49. Up to 3 damage. Okay. 91, huh? Alright, I guess we can double tap this guy. And consider the... And use the other guys for... This is pretty scary. Yeah, he's rushing toward us. It's going to be... Um... Okay, where is our other sniper? Double tap possible? Uh, 89%. Okay. Oh wow, okay, great. Good job. That was uh, better than I expected. And double tap for this guy. Um, yeah, sure. Oh, great. Alright, I think it's... Uh, I think we can handle this. Let me try to... Uh, use the sniper rifle to... 49%, I think it's... Uh, I think I'm not so sure. Missed. Missed the target. Yeah. This guy's flanked. Maybe Johansson can do it. 84% decent. Alright, so four snipers. Just defeated a pod. Um I thought that was rather difficult to do, but we did it. We did it, fam. Thick. Yeah, I think that was just the... Uh... She did the first shot, I think. Alright, so once again, he's going to go over here. So this is not a uh, cover, although there seems to be a bit of a cover here, but just the ramp doesn't really serve as a cover. And all these covers can be destroyed by some shot. It's a destructible environment here. Shimizu probably can... oh, she reloaded. Yeah, so... I think she can just stay back and then do overwatch. Yeah, squad side is going to be still active. Alright, so... What was that? In front of us. Could be just mutants. If you hear some thumping noise, then it might be Berserker. Enemy oh inside. gosh, this is not good. Yeah, so same thing. We lost the usage of our... Alright, Zen, can you shoot the rocket? I think you can. Yeah. He can shoot the rocket. Good. Uh, let's destroy the covers here if you can. Hopefully. Just the edge. Six. Okay, I don't think the Berserker is able to make it all the way where we are. Um. I can probably use snipers to... Maybe he can reach us, but barely. I like to believe that... This guy's exposed, maybe I can... Right, 
Good job. Good job, and you lost. First kill. 17 critical. Man, man, goodness. I could have definitely used that against the Berserker over there. 17 critical. I think that was the highest critical that I've ever seen. Um, yeah, let's go get this guy. Hopefully, makes some progress. Misses. Okay. Yep, not great. Double tap though. Uh, just go for this. Yeah, alright, second time doesn't miss. Um. I don't think... Can, can he make it all the way? I think this guy has to run away, obviously. But, uh... I think we'll be able to... Maybe, uh, ambush it. Yeah, I don't want to really go up against it. And then also, she might be in danger. How far can he run, though? I'm sure they can probably... Yeah, I think she might be in danger. If I can over here and then do a shot and lure him away can I do that or what? I cannot do it I cannot do it I cannot do it okay the drones might be in danger Oh wow, didn't see us. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> Alright, so let's double tap this guy. I locked out there. Let's double tap this guy. Then get Angela to bring that critical shot once again. Yeah, now he's running. Game seems to be a bit um, chugging, affected by this. Berserker's presence. Okay, just the graze. Intimidate on. Hopefully, Yuansen is okay. Yeah, Yuansen is a pretty cool lady. He doesn't get phased that much. Alright. To 7 damage. Do it. Ooh, yeah, a lot of grazes here is uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> Alright, now we are just bringing him further into... Um, 45. Right. Um, yeah. Double tap? No, it's not available because... Um, it's not available because... <sighs> gosh darn you guys. You guys are just joking around with all these greases. I don't know what the Berserker is doing here, but... Just making things very, very, very interesting. Just... just... Kill it. Gosh, it was an adventure that I really That's didn't need to... I didn't really need to have. Okay, so... Fine. Yeah, Jones is saved. To find another turn. Or that guy just didn't see Jones. He just lost his target after the support guy here just ran off. Oh, maybe I should reload. Back in. Back in it. Good. Watch. Yeah, another muton. What the hell was that? Sounds like another muton group with berserker. Reload. Ready to engage. Where can I go? 
Rock and roll. I think she means I bring her here. Johansson could be coming up. Join the group. Now Prophet can go out and have a look. Alright, now there is that big scout. It looks pretty big. Um, I find that some of the aliens... I think I mentioned this, I think some of the aliens do prefer to be outside. Which is a good thing because, I mean, you can make use of snipers in the open ground. That's why uh, I was comfortable in bringing an extra sniper. Uh, if it was like Battleship, then of course I bring Dubanaza or Wardog. But I was comfortable enough to bring the snipers since um, mutants here always uh, seen on and about. It's a berserker friend now. Yeah. It seems that, what was that? It seems that it's coming within the UFO. But I think they're on the other side of UFO. Like far away from us. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. Maybe they're inside. Trying to ambush us. But, uh, it just battled them always in the environment outside. Okay. Quiet. Yeah, it's gonna have a look inside and then come out. I mean, it's not like trap or anything like that, right? going to have a look at the flank. I'm sure that the aliens are moving around the UFO as we speak. Johansson can also... Yeah, I think this is a good position for her. Jones is going to go over here. Eventually onto the higher ground. And the Luca is going to stay back. Okay. Yeah, they're moving. Um, what is happening there? What was that sound? Hearing something, but it's outside, outside the UFO. So I may as well just take care of the aliens, and then. Proceed to go inside. So you get Zhang and Daniel to have a look around the UFO. Sometimes I find the um, aliens, I don't know whether this is true, but if it reaches a turn limit, just like turn 20 in UFO defense, I think the enemies do get transported around the map to be closer to us. Maybe uh, that's not true. I think it happened once in the similar map such as this. What the hell was that? I don't know what turn we are in right now, but pretty close to turn 20. Have a look around the UFO to see if we are not going to get surprised. Gonna take some time. Bear with me, folks. So this guy can Yeah, he runs really far. I think this guy with skeleton suit is going to run circles around berserkers.
Yeah, now we don't hear anybody because we are farther away. And we'll look over here and then let Daniel do the an advanced scouting from this position. Have a look around. And Shimizu is going to keep watch. Quiet. There's something over there. Yeah. I think Berserker is also with them. Better look over here. Shimizu now can move. I get Zang to move. Yeah, and heavy cover. Yeah, so this is problem. I don't really see any cover here. Maybe I can go down, but that's going to be disadvantages for our guys. Especially the snipers. Especially the snipers. We hear... Oh. Okay, that was just a bird. I thought that I triggered something. Okay. Let's bunch up these guys. And run really long distance thanks to the skeleton suit. Pretty fragile though. I wonder what it's going to be like to use uh, Titan armor on the snipers. Doesn't really feel right. Yes, I can still do this. Now it is going around. Okay, so that? maybe we should. Ah, we should just turn around. But I, I just. I think it's too late to turn around. Okay, so we are. Playing a bit of a interesting game. Trying to follow each other, each other's tails, I guess. And this camera is not really helping much. Because we are right up against the... Yeah, we are right up against the, the wall here. Uh, I think it's a disadvantage for us because it is a really short corridor. So we might have to turn back and wait for them to turn around. And we can ambush it that way. Or maybe the alien is going to go into the UFO and then try to uh, flank us. I don't know what they're going to do, but uh, I think we might have to turn back. Yeah. Yeah, this is like kind of thing that I dread more than anything. Even more than um, being flanked in a battle because it's going to take a lot of time and just it's not really a good viewing experience. I might have to edit this out. Yeah, so we check. Listen. What was that? Damage carrier opposed to us at any point. Might as well just use better positioning to face against them. Yeah, we are in a bit of a mess here. Trying to move all these guys. I think the enemy is also wondering where we are. They're right over here, so please come and get us. I hear. Yeah. Okay. Hi. Did you hear something? They're going back. I think I'm not so sure what they're trying to do. Maybe I should just go and then get them. Maybe we should just enter the UFO. How large is this? Yeah, so you can see what is happening over there. Maybe through the door or something. Then we're gonna trigger some. Um, we're gonna trigger them, and then 
I like to face them when they're outside. Not inside, outside. Turn 20 here yet. We're here. Yeah, it's the same thing. I think we should enter the UFO and then just deal with whatever is inside. Um, maybe. But what I cannot do is lose focus. Keep the vigilance. Faced up against what is called the outsider alien or sectoid commander. Uh, I'm not so sure. I mean, it's a mutant ship, so I don't really expect any um, sectoid commander, but uh, who knows? What the hell was that? So I'm gonna bring. Everybody inside. To be very careful because, um, yeah, all, all these things can make us visible to them. We're gonna set ourselves up in a way that we don't get exposed or flanked when we enter into different part of the UFO. So she's able to overwatch, that's good. And we're gonna wait. She's going to stay here, high ground. They could be inside the UFO, for all I know. to fire if possible maybe I should wait for one more turn as we get these guys ready I like to at least have a uh, ability to shoot pistols wrong I was wrong goodness and they're like right up against us yeah I was really wrong folks but fortunately I can bring the sniper rifle bunch of it to go up against the berserker here right in the noggin don't get intimidated, just a bluff. Just think of it as a cuddly teddy bear. Um, can I suppress it or something or what? Um, I guess I cannot do it. He's every shot. 81%, 67%. I don't know what disabling shot does against this guy because he can just hit with its fist. I think this is 
very close shot to be sure but he's dead all right i guess things are a lot easier because i can bring all the firepower against this guy now uh yeah so i can probably do this and then only when i'm very sure that i can get this guy but only one guy left so nine yeah, all right so ended up maybe you can bring the pistol and then whip the guy just just in front of you 97 percent you cannot miss this out of the game out of the game good job very lucky, very lucky with that critical hit on the Berserker. Just killed it right away and I was wrong. The Berserker and the Mutant was inside. They were inside the UFO. So you see something every day, something new every day. And I suspect the outside alien to be inside this navigation room. I hear probably the sound. Um, I definitely hear more Mutants. Not good. Not good at all. I had to yeah, organize a bit here before we bust inside once again. Yeah, let's organize a bit. Okay, what can I do with this guy? Shimizu can... I think she can stay maybe here. And Overwatch. Yeah, definitely more mutants, and it's coming right from the room. <sighs> maybe there will be a berserker once again. So I might have to get her here we prepare for double tap and reload i get shimizu here to be prepared for double tap i get zhang yeah i think zhang could be zhang could be over here i think he's gonna just throw a rocket ready guys and Ruka is going to be the I mean she already killed the berserker so I think her job is done more or less so she's just going to watch over our other flank but I'm sure that yeah the mutant is, is inside I think it's going to be another mutant berserker pair oh all right well she appeared out of nowhere gangbusters okay so it's just turn 20 arrived for us and then it's uh yeah well, I don't know what's happening right now. I don't know what's happening. Something really interesting is happening right now. The whole live show is going crazy. We just, uh, at least we got this guy down to half health. Uh, we broke some stuff. Uh, obviously, oh my gosh, why is this? All right. Okay, so a whole party is starting right now. Okay, I don't know what's, going ha what's happening right now. Things have gotten very hot all of a sudden. It's my fault. It's all my fault. All right. Shoot. Rocket. Shot blocked. Wow. You're in big trouble. What does this do? Far can you run? Can run outside. Yeah, can run outside. Can we all run outside? 
Yeah. Hold on our side. We all run outside. It's just too much, too many things happening right now. I think we are going to die. Sometimes when you have to run, you gotta run. Yeah, tactical retreat. I think to be ashamed about. Um, wish I had to Bazana with one and gun. It's outside over there. Let me go over here. Yeah, we are leaving you. Don't follow me. Yeah, if the, you know, side attacks work like it does in Open XCOM, maybe we are in a really, really bad situation. Yeah, because they can still do the side attacks, even though we are, even though we might be, don't even think about it. We can do something about this guy. One by one. So apparently the side effects are not. Oh, come on. Come the. Please don't miss. What the heck did you do there? What? Going nowhere? Oh, I did disabling each other or something. Okay, I don't know why I did that. That's just totally, totally useless. Okay. Um, Thirty-eight. Okay, don't even try that. Ninety percent. Okay. Two. Not, not fun. Okay. A regroup. We gotta regroup. Can Shimizu with the skeleton suit come quickly? Yeah, she can come, but not quickly enough to. I think she might have to relocate. You know, I just do it. And then, um, I <sighs> have to think about what to do. Alright. 
I think I take the safe route out and then just try to ambush it. I think in this distance, um, yeah, I might as well do that and then yeah, ambush it. The kingdom come. Is it going to come to get us? Nope, it's outside the craft. Alright. Please kill it. Okay, well, uh, no, no, no. Okay, good. good job, Shimizu. Good job. Uh, no, this is not good. But it just spent all its movement point. And we were able to. Yeah, cover the flank here, my gosh, this is just outrageous. Outrageous. Giving me a lot of scares here. I'm gonna probably double tap the sector commander, so I might have to just start with this guy. Six, alright. Backing, up. backing up. Well, do not let them get away, please. 65%. Can you flank this guy over here? Is sector commander following you? No. Nope. Alright, let's get some critical hits. The good candidate for uh good candidate for capturing, but can't. Yeah, that's why they gave me the landed vehicle mission because um they wanted us to capture that sector commander so i probably we need to think about doing that very soon or else i'm going to have this kind of experiences every time where i have i go up against these guys with nothing to show for it although i mean i'm building a, a psionic lab right now so i guess it's not too bad even if you don't capture them just have to you know, the corpses are like 10 credits each, so like a bit more valuable than the other things. Let me reload. So who has double tap available? I think these guys all have double tap. She's just going to have to see what is going on over there, although she's a weakest link. Yeah, now we see the, what the hell was that? aliens walking around. Two of them, yeah, I count two, and I... I think I heard like one guy over there. So, might have to park. Look over here, just in case. And Shimizu over here, just in case. Okay, well. Well, uh, yeah, I need to reposition my guy, so let's. Let's be, uh, let's think about this a bit more carefully. Because, <laughs> uh, mind control is serious business, folks. Very serial. It's, uh, no laughing matter. Especially with snipers inside UFOs. It's dangerous. Yeah, I think one is trying to flank us around the what back. The was that? Uh, boy. Good shot, I guess. And now he's able to do something crazy. Uh oh. Spaghetti. -o. Oh boy, my control. That alien seems to have taken control of oh my soldiers God. somehow. Yeah, do all of the advances both of them mind control? So no. They would be useless against this type of power. Oh shit.
gosh. Can I do with this? Okay. Okay, no overwatch, thankfully. I just kill it, please. Can you kill it with maximum prejudice? Nine critical, okay, that's what I want. Alright, so this is the prime candidate for uh it's too bad. I want to capture it, but I can't. <sighs> Alright. Alright, Zhang. Maximum prejudice once again. Can you do this for me? Dashing here. Okay. Yeah. Zhang will have to take the I don't know, like You should from here, Zhang. No, I don't think so. Maybe I can try with Johansson. No, she can't even go there. Maybe from here? Here? Can you shoot? 51%? Okay. 94%, 51%. Now you can actually aim at your own guy. My goodness. What a grizzly grizzly uh possibility if that is actually what it boils down to okay see good job yeah see you in uh whatever hell you came from <laughs> she's okay right oh i can't actually uh squat side this actually, actually not too shabby um i think maybe they're gonna try to get Daniel, this uh, remaining guy. Look, I think Zhang might be able to do some work here. Dashing, but I think from here he should be able to shoot at the guy. Yeah, oh no, he can't, unfortunately. Alright, so let's get Luca here. Um, pump her down, I guess, doesn't really matter now. Uh, and let's all be in the cover at least. And uh okay, another mind control attempt. Kill, kill, kill them all. Uh, please don't kill them all. It's good that it skips a turn, uh, because it gives a chance to for us to respond to this uh, outrageous outrage. Uh, in XCOM UFO defense, they just didn't give any chance for us to like respond. Well, I was just wiped out. The turn they were able to mind control us, we were just wiped out. We didn't have any choice. Uh, so that's why this. No, don't, don't. Why? Why do you won't even want to aim at this guy first thing? <laughs> even though it's higher percentage. Nine critical. Okay, Luca, it's your turn. Or Daniel, maybe They're you can get the. Me. All right, let's. Uh, don't aim at Johansson, please. Okay. Another one down. Good work, oh wow, Commander. yeah, so it's a uh, bloody days. I almost days like twice. Um, but I must have to survive this without even a scratch. Which is a good thing. Um, and I have to probably get Arthur ready and prepared to go up against these guys. Yeah, it was hard battle. It was hard battle. We had to do a retreat once just to get out of the range of excellent work all around. Another impressive effort from our troops. Yeah, so I had to retreat once, draw these guys out. Part of the tactic, right? So, and uh, came out all right. And this now got a promotion for killing the berserker, and I'm going to uh, make her a bit different. Yeah, more of a mobile sniper for her. I don't know whether I'm going to use her in the future, but if the Conduction missions become like medium, then maybe I put her in. Alright, so intact UFO, some of it is damaged, but I can sell it. Uh, yeah, I can sell this and I can sell these. Yeah, okay. I don't even have to research this. And I didn't know that I had this. Uh, do I have to research this though? Because. Uh, Really not? Okay. Sure, I mean, I guess they just know what it is. In UFO defense, you have to research this to see what this is all about. 
for example, alien surgery. Uh, but they just don't know, I guess. Yeah, no research benefits, so I'm just selling all of it. So, good for us, I guess. Even alien food. Alright, so it's a slurry of varying genetic material. It has considerable nutrient content. Human DNA, oh goodness. Yeah, I cannot really eat that. I'm gonna keep alien entertainment because it's kind of funny. I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I should sell it. Yeah, it is what it is. We can only assume the bizarre device is some form of entertainment. Euphoric state to the user. I guess uh, it has its usage. Um, damage. Yeah, so you're gonna have some money after this. Are heating up out there. We're tracking multiple unidentified targets. Yeah, a lot of mutant corpses and berserker corpses. I'm just waiting for any country to ask for it. Okay, so we gained some money. Um, I didn't know I had. It's like finding uh, like ten thousand dollars under your couch or something. Um, yeah, so we got our first taste of the mind control thing. It's way, way more lenient than Open XCOM or UFO Defense. So I think it's going to go, you know, both ways. Um, we can probably mind control them, but not use them in the first turn. You know, exposing them to all sorts of alien abuse. Um, yeah, that's gonna be rather interesting if we get to use it. And the uh, Cyanic Lab is under construction, so we're going to have to sit to the end of that. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, and until next time, please stay tuned.